Hi, my name is Garrett. I'm a technical writer on the documentation team here at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today, I'm going to tell you about the cPanel API tokens feature. You can create and issue these API tokens. Before we begin, let's answer the question, what is an API function? An API, or application programming interface, allows you to interact with a program. cPanel and WHM API functions allow you to create, modify, and remove stuff on your server, among other things. For example, you can create an email account all from the command line. We'll do this later in the video. These tokens allow other users to run API functions without the need to log into cPanel. For example, you could issue an API token to a third-party developer. The third-party developer could use that token to create an email address. It would be able to do all of this from the command line and would never need to log into your cPanel account. No need to share your password. First, log into cPanel. The cPanel home interface will appear. Scroll down to Manage API Tokens, and then click Manage API Tokens. And the Manage API Tokens interface will appear. If you've already created API tokens, the List API Tokens interface will appear. If you haven't created any tokens, the Create API Tokens interface will appear. The List API Tokens interface displays a list of API tokens that you've already created. To search through the list of API tokens, enter the name of the token in the search bar. I'll enter the word first. Any tokens that contain the phrase first will appear in the display. Click the X icon to clear the search. Let's create a new API token. Click Create at the top of the interface to begin. The Create an API Token interface will appear. I'll enter a new API token name, new underscore API token, in the API token name text box. Then I'll click Create. The Token Created Successfully interface will appear. Notice the API token with all the letters and numbers. Think of this token like a password. You must store this token in a safe place. You will need it later. This interface is also the only time that you will be able to see this token. If you forget or misplace the API token, you will have to revoke it and create another. Let's copy this token to a safe place. I'll click Copy. If I wanted to create another token, I could select the Create Another Token. After I click Yes, I saved my token checkbox, but we will only need one for this demonstration. Instead, click Yes, I saved my token, the List API Tokens interface will appear. If I wanted to manage the API token that I just created, I could click Manage. The Manage API Token interface will appear. In this interface, I can change the name of the API token. I could enter new underscore API token 2 and then click Update. I can also revoke the token from this interface, but we'll do that from the List API Tokens interface in a minute click update. The list API tokens interface will appear. Finally, if I want to revoke one or multiple tokens, I could select the checkbox for an individual token or multiple tokens. Then I can click revoke. The revoke selected API tokens interface will appear. Click revoke selected API tokens to continue. The list API tokens interface will appear once again. That covers how to create and manage API tokens, but how do we use the tokens? Open a command line interface. I'm going to run a curl command. This command tells the computer that we want to interact with the server. You can find an exact copy of this command in our documentation from the video description below. For this command, replace the following values with your actual values. Username. Enter your cPanel account username. API token the long string of numbers and letters. Replace that with your API token we copied from earlier. Domain name. Replace example.com with your cPanel domain name or IP address. Okay, so those are going to be the same every time that you run this token. The second part is the API module, function, and parameter value pairs. 
So for this example, we're going to run the email module, the API function add pop, the email parameter with new user for the value, the password parameter with 12345 luggage as the value. Okay, so now that we have this all broken down, let's run it. Let's go back and see the email address in cPanel. Go back to cPanel, click the home icon. The cPanel home interface will appear. Scroll down to the email accounts icon. Click the email accounts icon. The email accounts interface will appear. You can see the new email address for new user here. For more information about cPanel, your hosting platform of choice, visit our website at cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at cPanel. If you enjoyed this video, click the cPanel icon to subscribe to our channel and view more tutorials just like this one.